some important MCH indicators are listed below. These are maternal mortality ratio, perinatal mortality rate, infant mortality rate which includes neonatal and post neonatal mortality rates, under 5 mortality rate also known as child mortality rate, still birth rate, 1 to 4 year mortality rate also known as child death rate, child survival rate and antenatal care and skilled attendance indicators. These are MCH services indicators. How good are the services? Maternal mortality ratio, perinatal mortality ratio, infant mortality rate and under 5 mortality rate have the denominator as number of live births. Hence they are expressed as per thousand live births for the year. Child survival rate and the service indicators are expressed as percentages. Still birth rate has a denominator of total live births plus still births weighing above 1 kg at birth. 1 to 4 year mortality rate has a denominator as the total number of children in the same age group. WHO defines maternal death as death of a woman while pregnant or within 42 days of termination of pregnancy irrespective of the duration and the site of pregnancy from any cause related to or aggravated by the pregnancy or its management but not from accidental or incidental causes. Late maternal death has been defined as death of a woman from direct or indirect obstetric causes more than 42 days but less than one year after termination of pregnancy. And pregnancy related death has been defined as death of a woman while pregnant or within 42 days of preg termination of pregnancy irrespective of the cause of death. Direct cause is any complication of the pregnancy, labor, preparium or management of such. Internet obstetric causes any pre-existing disease or a newly developed disease that was aggravated by the physiology of pregnancy. Various maternal mortality indicators are maternal mortality ratio where the denominator is the number of live births. Maternal mortality rate, the denominator is number of women in the reproductive age group. Lifetime risk of maternal death, this is a risk calculated for an individual woman, the risk of dying from pregnancy or childbirth during her lifetime. What we shall be dealing with in detail is maternal mortality ratio. The formula for maternal mortality ratio is total number of maternal deaths divided by the total number of live births in the same population over the same year into 1000. Developed countries use 1 lakh as multiplying factor otherwise they will get their values in decimals. Now ideal denominator for calculating maternal mortality should be all pregnancies whether they end in deliveries or abortions or stillbirths. But we use total live births instead because stillbirths and abortions are less likely to be reported, particularly in the developing countries. And hence that will lead to, un lead to unpredictable denominators. It will give rates which are not comparable. This is the international classification of diseases, definition of direct obstructive deaths and indirect obstructive deaths. We have already seen this before. Significance of maternal mortality ratio. Maternal mortality reflects overall effectiveness of health services. 
and if the maternal mortality is high it reflects that the health services administration is weak with inadequate logistics lack of emergency care deficiency of health personnel and inadequate investment in health sector it is estimated that for one maternal death 20 mothers have suffered from pregnancy related illnesses so how is information collected to calculate the accurate maternal mortality in various countries various approaches for measuring maternal mortality data are civil registration system there should be ideal in countries where there is complete reporting of each and every death abortion stillbirth live births but sadly this is not the case in all the countries if the civil registration system is not reliable other approaches need to be adopted like household survey surveys are done in representative areas regarding and questions are asked regarding maternal mortality in that area sisterhood methods again a representative sample of population is taken and then they are acquired about the adult sisters survival that is how many sisters were born how many are alive how many were married how many have uh, born children if they have died and if they have died have they died during pregnancy or during labor or during preparation etc so the information is sought from the population reproductive age mortality studied studies here the deaths in females of reproductive age groups the records are taken out and they are studied in detail verbal autopsy is a tool where in a series of set questions are asked from the relatives of the dead individual and efforts are made to as to ascertain the cause of death so efforts are made to ascertain if a death was maternal death this is another way of collecting maternal mortality data census during census a few questions regarding maternal deaths can be added to the routine data sheet and this information is likely to be complete because the whole population is studied but then this can be done only one in 10 year these are the major causes of maternal mortality in india hemorrhage is the most common cause followed by sepsis hypertension and etc This is a comparison of causes of maternal deaths worldwide versus causes of maternal deaths in India. Social factors which are associated with an increased maternal mortality. Women's age. Too old or too early mother has a higher risk of death. Birth interval. Shorter birth intervals are associated with higher mortality. Parity. high parity increases the risk to better of maternal death socio economic status lower socio economic status associated with higher maternal mortality violence against women is obviously associated with higher mortality cultural practices and beliefs some cultural practices may be harmful and may increase the risk others may be good shortage of health manpower increases the risk of maternal mortality poor transport facilities are responsible for a higher maternal mortality because the women cannot be transported for complication management in time preventive and social measures for reducing the maternal mortality early registration of pregnancy any complication will be detected well in time at least four antenatal checkups dietary supplementation including iron folic acid prevention of infection during preperium and prevention of hemorrhage during preperium that is postnatal care prevention of complications like eclampsia and ruptured uterus during pregnancy and uh, labor and treatment of associated medical conditions like hypertension diabetes etc preventive and social measures continued anti malaria prophylaxis in the anemic areas 
tetanus prophylaxis that is injection TT, ensuring clean delivery practice, skilled attendance to delivery, promotion of family planning because short duration between two deliveries have been associated with increased maternal mortality. Identification of every maternal death and investigating it in detail to find out the cause or the lapse which was responsible for it. Providing safe abortion services. Indicators have been developed to assess the level of antenatal care and skill attendance at birth. These are percentage of women who make any antenatal visit, even one, and that was 75.2% during district level health survey third. Percentage of women who make at least three antenatal visit. Percentage of deliveries in the year which were conducted in an institution. Percentage of delivery which can be classified as safe deliveries. Safe deliveries are delivery which is either in an institution or if it is a home delivery it is conducted by skilled staff. Skilled staff means ANM or above not dyes even if it is a trained dye it is not included as skilled staff. Percentage of pregnant women who have consumed IFA tablets for 100 days. Percentage of postnatal women who have received a postnatal checkup within two days and calculation of lifetime risk of maternal death it's a statistical calculation and expressed as 1 in 100, 1 in 20, 1 in 60 like that. This is the situation of maternal mortality in India. In 2013 the MMR was 1.78 per thousand life births for India ranging from 0.66 in Kerala to 3.28 in Assam. Percentage of pregnant women with at least one antenatal checkup 74% and with at least four antenatal checkups 37%. Percentage of deliveries which were safe 52%. Lifetime risk of maternal death 0.4% overall for India ranging from 0.1% in Kerala to 1% in UP. Indian states have been categorized into three categories. Category A, also known as Empowered Action Group, are the states with worst indicators. Category B are southern states which performed better. And Category C includes all the intermediate states. Any fetal death after 28 weeks of gestation is not known as abortion it is known as stillbirth and if the gestational age is not known it is considered that a fetal weight of 1 kg corresponds to 28 weeks of gestation hence stillbirth rate is calculated as fetal deaths weighing over 1 kg at birth divided by total live births plus still births weighing more than 1 kg into 1000. Perinatal period includes late fetal period that is more than 28 week of gestation and early neonatal period that is first week of life. So perinatal death is late fetal death and early neonatal death. The parental mortality rate for nations with inadequate vital records of stillbirths is late fetal deaths plus early neonatal deaths divided by total live births in the same year in 2000. For countries with reliable registration of stillbirths the denominator for perinatal mortality rate differs. The numerator is the same that is late fetal deaths plus early neonatal deaths and the denominator is live births plus late fetal deaths in the same year multiplied by 1000. 
first consideration for late fetal death is a birth weight of at least 1 kg or a confirmed gestational period of at least 28 weeks and if these two cannot be ascertained then a body length of at least 35 centimeters. Why do we calculate the perinatal mortality rate? 1. Because perinatal mortality accounts for a large amount of infant mortality in countries with low infant mortality rates. And stillbirth and neonatal deaths have common causes which operate around the time of birth. Third, a proportion of deaths which occur just after birth or at birth are misclassified as stillbirths, thereby wrongly raising the number of stillbirths and decreasing the number of neonatal deaths. So by combining these two, this anomaly is eliminated. And both stillbirths or early neonatal death reflect the standard of maternity care rather than neonatal deaths alone. Factors associated with high perinatal mortality are perinatal mortality risk factors. These are low socioeconomic status, high maternal age or too low maternal age, high parity, smoking during pregnancy, short maternal height as compared to the locals, bad obstetric history that is previous history of stillbirths, neonatal deaths or premature births, malnutrition and severe anemia in the mother, multiple pregnancy, twins, triplets, quadruplets, etc. Causes of perinatal mortality can be antenatal, intranatal that is during labor or postnatal. Apart from this, some causes may still be unknown. The list of antenatal, intranatal and postnatal causes will now be displayed. Neonatal period is the first 28 days or 4 weeks of life. Neonatal mortality rate is number of deaths up to 28 days of life divided by total number of live births into 1000. Neonatal mortality is the toughest part of infant mortality to reduce. Neonatal mortality is greater in boys throughout the world. Following are the statistics for neonatal mortality in India. The figure displays causes of neonatal deaths in India. Preterm birth, congenital anomalies, sepsis, pneumonia, diarrhea, birth asphyxia, others. Measures needed to reduce neonatal mortality include care before pregnancy, during pregnancy, skill attendance during delivery and soon after and skilled visit during the first month of life which include early postnatal visit by the skilled worker, early and exclusive breastfeeding, prompt detection and treatment of the disease in the newborn, immunization and protection of girl child. Post neonatal period includes from 28 days of life and before 1 year of age. So post neonatal mortality rate is number of deaths between 28 days and 1 year of age divided by number of live births into 1000. While neonatal mortality that is within 28 days of life is mainly due to endogenous factors Post neonatal, neonatal mortality is mainly increasingly caused by the exogenous factors and the major causes in post neonatal age is diarrhea, respiratory infections or pneumonia, malnutrition and congenital anomalies. 
post neonatal mortality increases with increasing birth order in southeast asia and india post neonatal mortality is higher in girls and reflects the neglect of a girl child following are the statistics of post neonatal post neonatal mortality in india infant mortality rate is defined as the ratio of infant deaths registered in a given year to the total number of live births in the same year usually expressed as per 1000 live births infant mortality rate is one of the most important rates because it is an indicator of health status of the community not just the infant also it is an indicator of the level of living in general that is the socio economic status in addition it reflects the effectiveness of maternal and child health services and medical technology infant mortality is the largest single age specific mortality that is proportional mortality rate in infancy is the highest compared to pmr of other ages deaths at this age are due to some peculiar set of diseases to which the adult population is less exposed or less vulnerable and the good thing is that infant mortality rate improves quickly by specific health programs aimed at mch care and responds more rapidly than general death rate in early 90s the infant mortality rate was very high throughout the world but by mid century there was a spectacular fall in the infant mortality in all developed nations In 2013, the average infant mortality of the world was 34 per thousand live births, but it varied from country to country. The average IMR for Southeast Asian countries was 43. In industrialized nations, further reduction of infant mortality depends upon revolutionary advances in perinatology because the causes during this period. have the largest impact in infant mortality in these nations and the main cause of infant mortality in these nations is congenital anomalies infant mortality rate reflects the socio economic development of a country a low infant mortality reflects improved perinatal care improved quality of life that is economic and social progress better control of communicable diseases improved chemotherapy better nutrition in the population and effective family planning in the industrialized countries the reduction in infant mortality rate was due to economic and social progress and lesser due to medical services while on the other hand in developing countries the reduction in infant mortality is due to medical interventions now any further reduction would depend upon improvement in socio economic development of the country the scenario of infant mortality in india india is still among high infant mortality rate countries there are marked variations among states in india among states also in rural urban areas and among these also in various among various socio economic levels it ranges from a low in kerala to a high in madhya pradesh within states also there is rural urban variation a high imr belt includes orissa madhya pradesh assam bihar uttar pradesh haryana and rajasthan these states have an infant mortality rate which is above the national average 
in india infant mortality rate has been seen to be associated with literacy rate especially female literacy rate high literacy rate is associated with lower infant mortality primary health coverage family planning services coverage kerala has the lowest infant mortality lowest birth rate and the highest literacy rate in india deaths during infancy account for 13% of total number of deaths of the infant mortality around 70% occurs within the neonatal period and in the neonatal period also majority of deaths occur in the first week of life gender in all the developed countries infant mortality is higher in males in india after one month the mortality is higher in females and this reflects the neglect of the girl child while there is a substantial contribution of social and economic factors in infant mortality the following table lists the medical causes of infant mortality of deaths during the infancy it has been segregated into causes for mortality during the neonatal period and causes for postnatal period mortality because they differ slightly in importance factors affecting infant mortality are not just biological but also economic and cultural the biological factors are birth weight a higher birth weight is associated with better survival maternal age birth order birth spacing multiple births family size and high fertility economic factors are one of the most important factors in infant mortality the infant mortality is highest in slums and lowest in the richer colonies of the same city the cultural and social factors include various customs regarding breastfeeding beliefs in religion and caste groups the trend of early marriages gender of the child quality of mothering maternal education quality of health care provision to the population broken families have a higher infant mortality illegitimate children have a higher infant mortality brutal habits and customs the indigenous die which replaces the skilled birth attendants and bad environmental sanitation based on our detailed discussion regarding the factors affecting infant mortality in a population the measures for reduction of infant mortality can be ascertained these are improving the prenatal nutrition of the mother prevention of infection of the newborn and in the infant especially by immunization against preventable diseases early initiation of breastfeeding and exclusive breastfeeding regular growth monitoring and taking action when the growth falters family planning to increase the birth gaps improving environmental sanitation provision of better and high quality health services general development of the socio economic status of the population and education of females one to four year mortality rate also known as child death rate is the number of death in children aged one to four years divided by mid year population of the children in the same age group in 2000 it obviously excludes infant mortality child death rate is a refined indicator of the social situation of a country rather than infant mortality rate because it reflects the adverse environmental health hazards because mortality in this age is not much dependent on the endogenous factor anymore but more on the social factors in developing countries 50% of deaths in this age group occurs in the second year of life child death is also expressed as percentage of total deaths that is proportional mortality rate of 1 to 4 years and this was 2.8% in india
the causes are vaccine preventable diseases and other infectious diseases of this age group it ranges from less than 1 to 30 throughout the world it is 30 to 50 times higher in developing countries compared to developed nations infant mortality is 10 to 20 times higher but child death rate is 30 to 50 times higher in developing countries compared to developed countries the leading causes of death in this age group have been listed in the following table under 5 mortality rate is also known as child mortality rate is defined as number of deaths under 5 years of age in a given year divided by total number of live births in the same year into 1000 it is the sing better indicator of social development than even the per capita gross national product it has seen dramatic decline worldwide since 1990s and the decline was greatest in 2000 when millennium development goals were set the maximum values of under 5 mortality are seen in sub saharan africa followed by south asian countries following are the figures for india in comparison to world the figure shows major causes of death among the under 5 children in india prematurity pneumonia intrapartum complications diarrhea other infections it has been observed that a large number of maternal and child deaths are due to three delays first delay in deciding that there is a need to seek medical care second delay in reaching the appropriate health facility because of transport difficulties and finally delay in receiving quality care once inside an institution child survival rate is simply calculated by subtracting the under 5 mortality rate from 1000 and dividing by 10 to arrive at percentage following are the child survival rates in india compared to other countries the line represents the period from conception to the fifth birthday this is early conception late conception labor resulting in birth of the new net of the newborn one month old child first birthday in fifth birthday this is early fetus and death in this stage is called abortion late fetus the death in this stage is called stillbirth wa first month of life the neonate neonate mortality for one month to one year is post neonate and post neonatal mortality from birth to one year is infant infant mortality from birth to 5 years under 5 under 5 mortality from 28 weeks of gestation to 7 days of life perinatal period perinatal mortality